out here uh, making basically a little tree for the snow goose field i don't even know where the drawing boards are but we had an idea i don't think it's gonna work so we switched ideas now we're gonna make it where one main uh one more one main pole just gotta have some little fingers off of it all the way down instead of you know having a full you know bar across basically save a little bit of metal too um yeah I'll try to keep you updated on all of it. And me and Dad out here freezing our buns off in our homemade little hut. All tarps. Yeah, because we don't have heat in the shop. So we got the little propane heater to try to keep a little bit warm because it's negative two outside. So yeah, the stuff you do for snow goose hunting. Today, you can see we got one of the arms on it. Dad's getting around to measure out the other one. So we can stick the other arm going that way. As, as I'm trying to hand it to him, and, or him take it from me, and I can't hand it to him. So yeah, that's your little update. You got more coming. All right. Well, we've got two got the uh, you know the arms welded up on here. Got a lot to do yet. Um, I just cut all these half-inch pipe, um, so the heavy haulers they can sit down inside of them. I ain't got to fall off that real tight, you know, they fit good. But this way we can weld them to the ends. So this way the heavy altars sit down in them. Um, so yeah, like I said, we got a long ways to go, but we're bored. Can't go with some of hunting right now. So that's what we're doing. Killing time, making more junk, more or less to haul around the trailer. And yeah, it's just kind of really, I mean, we got two rotator machines. Um, and other than that, uh, we've got 30 something flyers. So the rest of them, you know, they just go, we just stick them wherever in the ground to try to make them look like kind of cluster sometimes, depending on the situation. But uh, with this, hopefully it'll just be one pole. And then, you know, we'll have our other flyers, you know, it'll be like a five pack more or less or 10 pack of snows coming in versus having 10 poles and 10 flyers in a line, you know, dip, try to vary the heights. This here, you know, it'll look like a wall of snow geese, you know, dumping in the decoys. So, like I said, we got a long ways to go yet. Plan on making probably seven or eight flyers on this one. Um, like I said, we wanna kinda disperse them. We're gonna walk them down, you know, we're gonna have one here, then here, probably stick one here coming out, or there or whatever. Like I said, it's just kind of a test test trial. We'll see how it turns out. And it's so cold outside that my radio isn't going to work right. As you can tell, sometimes it'll take off real loud and other times it won't. So yeah, um, that's where we're at right now. Dad's going to get more propane because my heater is starting to run low and it's starting to get cold again. So yeah, a little update. Get, get back with you here in a few minutes and see where we're at then. So. Hopefully, you continue watching. Right, here's a test run. We're trying to find a place that we can stick it in the ground. We're trying to find a place we can stick it in the ground that isn't completely froze solid. But when it's negative two outside for the past week and a half, yeah, it's kind of hard to find. So yeah, we're trying to test her out a little bit, just see what it's going to look like and all that good stuff. This kind of gives you the gist of it. So we're at right now. Probably gonna weld some little tabs on so we can put more on it in case we end up wanting it. Don't want more arms or whatever. I don't know why that wouldn't work. It's up there a little ways. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that right there is your proof. We cannot get it in the ground. It is froze. Alrighty, here is the end result. Go ahead and just weld this one here on. This little extra one. Got an arm, arm, arm. And the last one. Got it so we can stick it in the other pole. We'll get it up in here a little higher. So there you go. Ain't much, but it looks pretty good up in the air. I'm excited to see it out in the field with all the heavy haulers on it. So, I'm gonna probably post more stuff like this with being cold. Can't go snake the sun yet. I mean, can just paint. Hardly any birds. Uh, if you haven't already, go check out my Instagram, Outdoor Fruits. Hit, hit the subscribe button if you don't mind. 
I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.